Okay, so we're going to start by uh, starting Ardor. So start Ardor 3 here. And we're going to create a new session. So press new session. I'm going to choose my LMP folder and choose a name. And this is all we need. So we'll start that session. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set the, um, the session tempo because uh, the song is in 87 BPM. So we're going to start by editing the tempo. And in order to edit the tempo, uh, you can go up here. You can see a little tempo bar here, which says 120 BPM by default. Uh, you can also see the tempo up here. And we'll right click this and press edit in order to edit this one. And as I said, the, the song is in 87 BPM, so we'll pr put 87 here, we'll apply. So what we need to do now is we need to import our files. So we need to import the, uh, the demo files we have. So we'll press import here in the session menu, import. We'll go to uh, our folder where we've unzipped the, uh, the files, and as you can see, these are all files that should correspond to what you have as well. As you can see, I uh, exported these quite recently myself. So, but what we want to do is, sorry, I'm just gonna uh, enlarge this one a bit. Uh, so what we want to do is we want to import everything here, uh, all the tracks, because each of these, uh, these sound files, you can see they're the same size, which means they're the same length. Uh, and each of these correspond to one track uh, in the song. So. In order to select all of them and import all of them at once, we're going to hold shift and press down here, left click down here, and it'll select everything. So everything selected. Now we want to go through down here and select how, how to add the files, where to insert them, what mapping they should have, and, and so on. And this is actually pretty simple. And you usually don't have to worry uh, at all about this, but yeah, we'll, we'll look at this menu. Okay, how do we want to add the files? Yes, we want them to be new tracks. This one, we just put them in the region list. The region list is over here. Uh, so you can bring, down, uh, bring up a list here of all the available regions in the session. Uh, and this one would, yeah, would make them, yeah. I, I, honest to God, I have no clue what this does, but yeah, something nifty, I'm, I'm sure. Um, but we want to add them as new tracks uh, and one per track. So next thing up is the selecting where we want to insert them and uh, Normally, if you're importing something from a session where uh, the sound file isn't exported from the beginning of the song, you'd want to insert uh, the, the, the sound file at the timestamp. Because what this means is, if I have a sound file over here uh, in my session, and this is all I export, it'll get timestamped by, okay, so this, uh, this region starts here and ends here, for example. Um, and this would import the, the, the region and put it at the exact same place. So that could be handy if you're importing those kinds of regions and sound files. But what we want to do is we want to put them at the session start because that's the way I exported the demo files. And then the mapping, this is just how kind of, um, yeah, how, how the, the files are put on the track. So, and what we, we want to have one track per file. Um, so that's really all you need to know. And you can also select here if you want to copy the files to the session or not. Uh, and before I import these, I'm just going to quickly demonstrate that you can actually, uh, you can audition things here. So if we, we started out here by, I'm going to pull this down because it's going to be pretty loud. Um, we'll start this by listening to the main guitar here. And you can see in here there that it's, it's the main guitar. You can scroll around here. And you can do this for basically all of the tracks. So if we take the string melody, which is a very basic violin, we can go forward to like that. So that's just a way of auditioning your files. Pretty self-explanatory. We'll select all the files again and we will import them. So press apply. You can see we get a few error messages here. These are nothing to worry about or even think about. It's something about a temporary file not being able to be removed because it's not found. I'm not quite sure why, but yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. So we'll uh, close this dialogue. And now 
as you can see, all of our tracks are imported as separate tracks now. So all of our sound files are a separate track and they're actually, they're named after the, the sound files. So uh, the tracks are also named appropriately right out of the box, so to speak. So one of the first things I always do when I try, uh, when I import things, I import tracks like this is I arrange them. And yeah, this is just personal preference and you, you know, you, yeah, you, you don't have to arrange them unless you want to, but I find it simpler if I just group things and arrange them. So I'll start by putting the drums on top. So I'll put that, I'll pull the kick up here, put that on top. I'll put the snare underneath. I'll put the hi-hat underneath the snare. I'll put the tom fill underneath that. And normally I'd put the bass here next because um, I'm trying to go from kind of bassy to kind of, um, yeah, softer, I guess. Uh, but as we have no bass here, uh, I'll put what's closest to bass, which is the string bass. So I'm going to pull up and put the strings up here. And now we're going to continue and put the guitars. So we we'll start by the rhythm left. Oh, yeah, rhythm left, the rhythm middle, the rhythm right, the guitar main, the guitar center, and the melody one and the melody two, and then the piano uh, at the bottom, and that's fine. Uh, so now uh, what I want to do here now before we, oops, before we progress is I want to show you a nice little trick that I use almost all the time because um, here you can see you have a pretty nice overview here of, of the session and all of the regions. But what I want to do is uh, I like having my tracks collapsed fully. So I like having them like this. And it would suck to be to have to do this for all of the tracks. So what you can do is you can select all the tracks. Now you can do this either by selecting up here and holding shift, and just like you selected the, the sound files, or you can do what I usually do is hold control and shift, which will select all of the same uh, of the tracks here. So I press one here while I'm holding control and shift and it selects everything. Now I want to collapse all of these. So if you go into track up here, you're going to hate, you can see that you have a number of different options here. Uh, what I want to do is I want to press here. I want to collapse them to small. And as you can see, this, this makes them, uh, yeah, the minimum available size. And it also makes them have a nice little color and it makes things generally more things fit on the screen. And it's, it's a bit easier to, to overview them when they're colored like this. Now, what I do also, or what I have done is I've bound this uh, on my keyboard because this is something that I use quite often. So as you can see here, it says control plus one here. That means that I've bound um, the setting to control plus one. So uh, in, uh, if you want to bind, the, bind it or bind it to something else, all you do is you, you hold your, you hold your, uh, your, 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 point, uh, your cursor over whatever you want to bind and then you press the keyboard combinations. So if I want to bind something to having the tracks to normal, control plus two, for example, just press control plus two here and you can see that there's uh, a binding be made. Uh, and this one is also bound and this is fit selected tracks. I'm gonna get back to this in just a moment. But basically, um, especially when working with MIDI, you, you usually want to uh, have one track cover the entire screen. Uh, so this, for example, now this isn't very applicable when working with audio, unless you want to do very uh, small kind of changes. But so what I do is, as I said, I've bound, let's see here, I've bound this one to control plus F. So if I press, press control plus F here with this, uh, this track selected, it maximizes the track. And in combination with control plus one, which minimizes it, 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 it creates a very effective kind of workflow for uh, editing basic things uh, at a low level. So what's also nice about this is that uh, it's called fit selected tracks. So if I select all of my drums and I press control F, it fits all of my drums on the screen and I press control one and it brings it down again. So that's a nice little trick that you can use if you want to speed up your process of uh, yeah dealing with low level stuff in regions and uh, especially when doing MIDI, but I'm going to talk about that in another tutorial uh, sometime soon. So 